in Playa del Carmen, you can definitely live a life of luxury without breaking the bank. Oh, and dare I not forget the Sunday brunch life on the rooftops. Yeah, I'm ready to go back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Black Culture Talks. I am your girl, Kim, a.k.a. Kim with the Gems, here to drop some travel gems for people who may be looking to explore new places and possibly even move out of the country to someplace new and exciting. Last week's video, I covered Playa del Carmen, but from the point of view of what I didn't like about Playa del Carmen, I wanted to get that out of the way. If you haven't seen the video, if you haven't checked it out, if you're interested in checking it out, go ahead. I will add it to the screen up here. Um, so go ahead and check it out. I may need to go ahead and live in Playa during the winter months and then someplace else during the summer. And we'll see how that goes. So here are the 10 best things about Playa del Carmen that I experienced after spending five whole weeks in this beautiful town. But before I move on, I'm going to ask once again if you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell for the channel so you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. So without further ado, here are the 10 top reasons for you to add Playa del Carmen to your travel list destination and possibly your relocation destination. Let's talk about the community, the Black community, the Black expat community overall. If you're single, if you're married, if you're millennial, if you're Gen X, if you're baby boomer, it's just so many of us that have either made the move full time to Playa del Carmen or it has become one of our favorite destinations. And um, actually a few days before I was leaving to spend five weeks, that's right, five weeks in Playa del Carmen, YouTuber Stephanie Perry, if you're not familiar with her, you should very well get familiar with her. <laughs> I will add a link to her channel in the description as well. Um, but Stephanie Perry did a live video on the seven that, you know what, I wrote it down, the seven largest communities African Americans moved abroad to black women expats. Let me say that again. Seven largest communities African Americans moved abroad to black women expats. Now, again, she hosted this live the Saturday before I was leaving. It was just once again validation that I was making the right choice to spend over a month in um, Playa del Carmen. Stephanie in that video ranked Playa del Carmen number four out of the top seven. Playa del Carmen was also tied with Mexico City in that video. And if you check out her video, you'll understand her rationale behind it. Um, I also don't think Stephanie has personally visited Playa del Carmen, but very different cities based on your personality. So when you get a chance, once again, check out Stephanie Perry's seven largest communities, African Americans, moved abroad to black women expats, but back to the community. <laughs> um, just something for everyone, like I said, if you have children, if you're single, if you're um, a solo traveler, it doesn't matter because you will find your people <laughs> within the bigger, larger um, expat community. I've met people from each spectrum of the black expat community in Playa del Carmen. And I must say that if you're looking to become part of a community someplace, an already baked in community, Playa del Carmen is definitely someplace I recommend. So moving on from the community, let's talk about number two, the beauty of the town. And when I say beauty, I mean aesthetically, because you have everything from the beaches to what some people may call the jungle, where it's a lot more lush, but also the diversity of the, the town. Um, I met people from everywhere, from all walks of life. So you have Canadians, you have Americans, you have Europeans, you have Central Americans, <laughs> you, have, you have it all. And that adds to the beauty 
of what is called Playa del Carmen. Now, understand Playa del Carmen from a population standpoint, it's about 300,000 people. So me coming from a big city like New York, that's very small. But also me coming from a city like New York, I love diversity. I love the energy that that can bring. And then you add the aesthetic part, the beach, the architecture. And like I said, if you're more into lush greenery, you have that as well. It's just so much <laughs> that I can say about the diversity that lends itself to the beauty of Playa del Carmen. Speaking of beauty, that takes us to number three. Um, I call Playa del Carmen the city of rooftop bars and beach clubs because <laughs> they are plentiful. I mean, everywhere, any day of the week. And that includes rooftops to the apartment buildings as well. My condo had full usage of the rooftops which I'll insert pictures throughout this video and videos so you can just kind of be transformed into my Playa del Carmen experience. But let's get back to the rooftop. So you have various hotels that host daily rooftop events. A lot of the rooftops or some of the rooftops have 360 degree views. So you have access to the beach views as well as the city views. And also the beaches. The beaches are packed almost like every day especially on Sundays though but um throughout the rest of the week you can go at any time weather permitting and just see hundreds of people just enjoying beach life at Playa del Carmen um I talked about you know seaweed season sargassum season just be leery of that um so check out the five things that I did not like and that was one of them the sargassum number four Similar to New York City, around the clock in Playa del Carmen, there is always something to do. You can be as laid back and chill or as turnt as you want to be in Playa del Carmen. And that's seven days a week, 365 days a year. <laughs> so again, that to me is a, is a plus because, you know, there's times when you want to chill and there's times that you want to turn. And again, it's on a daily basis throughout the day. You can do the beaches. You can also do the rooftops. You can island hop. There's Cozumel. There's Isla Mujeres. There are so many places that you can go. You can also city hop. You can go to Cancun. You can go to Tulum. You can go to Puerto Morales. I mean, there are so many other towns and cities that you can visit each and every day <laughs> if you want to. It just makes for a great experience. And knowing that all of this is at your footsteps. This leads me to the next reason, which is reason number five, that I love Playa del Carmen. The ease of transportation. You really do not have to worry about <laughs> getting around in or near Playa del Carmen. You have so many options. My preferred method because of the proximity to where I was staying and everything else was by foot. <laughs> So you can absolutely enjoy the center of town without a vehicle, without ever having to get into a vehicle, unless you're coming, you know, from the airport, of course. Um, but the ease of transportation, the amount of taxis are plentiful. You can also order taxis if you live further out of town or in the jungle or the other side of the highway. You can order taxis through WhatsApp. They make it so easy for you to get around. A lot of people bike, a lot of people scooter. There's also um, the local transportation. I think I'm saying it right, Centivo. I'll, if I didn't say it right, I'll add it up here, but the Centivo, which is super cheap, less than a dollar, <laughs> um, you know, to get you from point A to point B. And I mean, they're really like, a lot of them are like larger vans and you're commuting with the locals. So it makes you feel even more at one with the culture. But then they also have the red bus, I call it, but it's the ADO, A-D-O um, bus line and they're air conditioned, cushioned seats, comfortable, huge buses 
that you can take to the airport or from the airport for about 11 US dollars. Um, you can take them to almost every other town, including towns two, three, four hours away, overnight trips. So their modes of transportation are very expansive for this to be a small community. <laughs> you know, it's actually, to me, I would compare it to large, a larger city. You can also take ferries to and from the other islands that I mentioned. So they have the public ferry that takes you back and forth to Cozumel and the public ferry that takes you back and forth to Isla Mujeres all day. <laughs> I think it stops maybe about nine, 10 o'clock at night. And that might be seasonal. So remember I was there for the spring or during spring. So check before you go. Actually, what I am gonna do, go ahead and check the description because I have listed the recap of the top 10 reasons to love Playa del Carmen, but it will include the top restaurants with links. Um, it will also include the top beaches and the top rooftops. So go ahead, check the description. Also, we are hosting Black Travel Culture does Playa del Carmen in early 2023. So sign up to be on the wait list for that and be the, one of the first people to know. So transportation is definitely a plus for people who live in Playa del Carmen. Again, you can rent a car. They have plenty of rental cars within Playa del Carmen if you choose to do that. I was fine not renting a car. I had no need to. And I ended up going to Cancun a couple of times, going to Tulum. Next will be number six. And that leads me to the cost of living and the affordability of Playa del Carmen. I mean, listen, <laughs> you can live very, very well for a fraction of what it costs to live in any of the top urban cities in the United States. I know people who are paying less than $1,000, heck, less than $600 and living very comfortably. Now, if you do want to live in the center of town, which is where I would prefer, um, during high season, you know, and depending what your needs are, one bedroom, two bedroom, I would say expect that to be anywhere from minimum close to a thousand and up. <laughs> Again, it depends upon your needs. Of course, the closer to um, Fifth Avenue, which is the main street in, in the center of town, the newer the building with more amenities, you're going to pay more. But still, you have options to pay less. But even the food is absolutely <laughs> the most affordable um, food for a destination. I mean, good quality food. So um, again, sign up for my list. You'll get some of the best restaurants in the world, I think, for a fraction of the price when you visit Playa del Carmen. Number seven, I will call Playa del Carmen, a small town with big city energy. Perfect nickname. It's a small town with big city energy. And what I mean by that, it's technologically advanced. You have places that accept cryptocurrency for payment. You also have places that, and a lot of apartment buildings that offer higher speed Wi-Fi than any of the places that I've lived in the States. Um, you have everything from the mom and pop shops, the small shops to Walmart. And then there's another equivalent to Walmart called Mega. And all of these are within walking distance. So you can walk <laughs> to your local Walmart. Some places it may just take a little longer if you're in El Centro, but no more than maybe a 20 minute walk. Um, and Oh, their delivery system. So how we have DoorDash and Uber Eats and especially me living in New York, there's always a minimum that you have to spend before you can place an order. Um, I didn't find that with Rappi. They are very advanced to the point where if you need money, like let's just say you needed cash and didn't have time to go to the ATM, go ahead and pull up Rappi <laughs> and request a certain amount. Um, whatever your needs are, and they will bring it to your door. 
Now, do they charge this? You know, of course, there's a charge for delivery, but it's nothing ridiculous. So you can absolutely live at ease in Playa del Carmen with a lot of the comforts from home. Um, a lot of people are mistaken that all of Mexico is not as advanced. Well, that is not the case for some of the cities that I visited. In fact, they may be a lot more advanced than cities or towns that you live in. Number eight, Playa lends itself to having a very healthy lifestyle. There is so much to do outdoors from sunrise yoga sessions to sunset yoga sessions. Um, there's a stadium that offers everything from salsa cardio to yoga to learning how to dance and a full track where you can go and put in miles and um, I'll insert a couple clips to show you, you know, that I took full advantage. And when you take those classes, the thing that I really love about the stadium classes as well as the yoga on the beach is that anyone can do it regardless of your economic status. So it's based on donations. So whatever you can afford to give is what you get. But that still is less intimidating than having to join a gym for a down payment and X amount each and every month. Um, and there's a lot of physically fit people in Playa. So that's another set of motivation. A lot of the apartment buildings, especially the newer ones, come with full size gyms or at least enough equipment for you to get a great workout in. Now, also realize the one thing I did not say is that Playa del Carmen is a relatively new town. It, it was a fishing town and then it was founded or they say it was founded in the 1930s. So we're not, we're not that old. Well, Playa is not that old. I'm claiming Playa del Carmen, um, at least part-time. But yeah, it's a relatively new city. Listen, for low six figures, you would probably live like a prince. I won't say, or a princess. I won't say king or queen, but a prince or princess. Number nine, the culinary scene is spectacular. The types of food that you can eat are just like the diversity that I mentioned earlier. You have your choice of everything. I had Jamaican food, Italian food, French food, Mexican food, of course, <laughs> Thai food. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. If you could think of it, they probably have it there. Of course, vegan, if you are vegetarian or vegan, so many options. You, I don't know how one would get tired of the food there. And I mean, all of this, if you are staying in the center of town, walking distance. I highly recommend even if you just want to go someplace where the food is great <laughs> to put Playa del Carmen on your list. Playa del Carmen is a, well, for me, it was a very spiritual place. It's weird to explain. If anyone tries to explain spirituality to someone else, you know that can be challenging. Let's just say it was very peaceful and quite serene. And so the, the peace, the ease, the connection with nature, the sense of being a little elevated, it's the 10th and final reason. Not necessarily final because there's so many more I can go through. So more nuggets will be added into my list that you'll get if you sign up for the newsletter, which will be in the description. Yeah, but for the sake of this video, it's the, the final reason why I think you should definitely consider Playa del Carmen as a place that you want to visit and maybe even move to. Go ahead and like this video if you found it useful or share it if there's someone you think that can find it useful. But for now, I thank you once again, Kim, aka Kim with the gems. Take care.